G'day, I'm Damo and welcome to CompNow's JNARC Recap. Taking place in Music City, Nashville, Tennessee, this was the 15th Jamf Nation User Conference. I was lucky to be one of the four staff sent over and to tide you over until the session videos become publicly available in early December, we've got a rundown of the big announcements and smaller gold nuggets for you today. If you're keen to take a closer look at some of the points we'll cover today, be sure to stay until the end for the video of the beta sign up links. But before we get into it, it is supposed to be a pretty exciting time, so... That's better. Now, on to the big announcements. Continuing their support for declarative device management, Jamf have announced blueprints for Jamf Pro and Jamf School. You'll soon find blueprints in the sidebar for both platforms, and we saw in the Keynote Live demo how easy it was to configure a blueprint for passcode management and external storage controls, and we're looking forward to blueprints expanding into more DDM areas in future. As we learnt in the Enterprise State of the Union following the Keynote, blueprints will act like a configuration profile and lock affected settings so that even users with admin privileges can't disable them. Self-service has done stalwart work for us all up to this point, and there are some exciting changes in the works with the announcement of Self-Service Plus. The onboarding support we saw come into Self-Service recently turns out to have been the start of Self-Service's new lease on life. Basically everything about Self-Service gets a facelift with the Plus version, and we're going to see functionality currently existing in other Jamf apps, such as Jamf Trust, rolled into Self-Service Plus as time goes by. We can't wait to see these improvements launch and how our customers create an even better user experience through the new features. Stay tuned until the end of the video for details on how to access the private beta. Also on the topic of DDM, we look forward to the public release of Declarations Explorer, a new Jamf app to assist admins in, well, exploring all the settings and controls Apple's new approach to device management offers. This will also be in a beta soon, but no sign up link just yet. With security taking an ever larger chunk of Apple admins time and energy, this next one is a welcome addition, security compliance reporting in Jamf Pro. This new functionality is built on the macOS security compliance project and the amazing Jamf compliance editor. And when it officially launches in the coming months, it will support all benchmarks that the MSCP does, including CIS and NIST. Mobile devices and Jamf school support have also been announced. From an architectural standpoint, it's interesting to note that this security support in Jamf Pro is one of the first examples of the new microservices approach Jamf is adopting, providing new features and abilities to admins without requiring a full rewrite of the entire platform. We'll likely see more of this in future Jamf updates. As with Blueprints, we've got beta sign-up details for you at the end of this video. The AI features announced at last year's JNUC have been dramatically expanded and AI Assistant will be a handy resource for Jamf admins of any skill level. Using Retrieval Augmented Generation, trained on Jamf documentation, product APIs, Jamf Nation content and more, AI Assistant will have a huge amount of expertise to draw on for the benefit of you and your team. Having an ever-present Jamf expert to call on for admin tasks is definitely a worthwhile addition, but again, looking at the importance of security in all of our lives, we think it's the security analysis and recommendations that will provide much-needed support to Jamf customers globally. To get your chance to see what AI Assistant can do for your environment and users, you guessed it, we've got beta details in our wrap-up. In the Enterprise State of the Union, Katie English took us through some of the more technical aspects of managing commercial environments. While applauding Apple's continued investment in platform SSO, we learned that the best possible user experience for identity still requires Jamf Connect. Jamf's usage of managed device attestation and the network relay service was covered, which I later saw a lot more of in the experience trusted access on iOS session. We heard about Jamf's continued prioritization of security features from Director of Product Management, Milind Patel, enhancing visibility of security issues and leveraging services like Jamf Threat Labs to ensure you have the maximum amount of info on your organization's posture and potential vulnerabilities. We heard about the prevalence of deskless workers in today's workforce, 2.7 billion people strong, and how tools like Return to Service and other simplified management tools can provide a fantastic user experience without undue complications for admins. This was emphasised with an appearance by global telco One Global, with their customer Suit Supply, who deploy mobile devices to employees with Jamf delivered eSIMs, all in a full zero trust approach. On a similar theme, the Soaring with iPad automation session took a deep dive into how Allegiant Air remotely provision iPads across the US with a killer combination of Jamf Pro, smart charging towers, and Apple automation support. 
Interestingly, due to one element of this amazing workflow being deprecated by Apple in the near future, Allegiant are looking to transition this process to Apple Configurator and Shortcuts via the Jamf Actions app. Nice to have further evidence that Shortcuts for Admin Workflows is clearly no longer my own personal crusade. In the Education State of the Union, we're informed that Jamf solutions help manage a whopping 42 million devices in educational settings across the world. Jamf School is also getting blueprints as we covered earlier, but also dark mode and increased security integrations. Jamf Teacher is getting lesson templates so teachers can share and collaborate on their practice easily and effectively, and the Jamf Educator portal has seen more enhancements so teachers can skill up further and connect with their peers across the world. We've mentioned a few regular sessions already, but wish we had time for more. But we will quickly cover Matt Taylor's practical Mac security session. After Matt's flawless contribution to the main keynote, this session was a goldmine of info on how Jamf are helping us keep our users, data, and devices secure. We learned the importance of hardening your environment to reduce your attack surface, how platform security issues in macOS should be built on, not ignored, how Jamf can secure devices and systems by blocking risky websites, patching software, and protecting against advanced threats such as web-based, malicious software and malicious behaviours. And finally, we learned how Jamf has increased monitoring of and visibility on threats to accelerate incident investigations. And that brings us to a close. There's obviously a huge amount of content we didn't have time for, so once again, you'll be able to access all JNUC24 videos on Jamf's YouTube channel after 60 days if you want to dive deeper. Keep an eye on CompNow's socials when they're all published in early December for our curated list of must-watch sessions. Jamf themselves will be running recap events in Melbourne and Sydney, both of which take place on October 31st. And for those beta sign-up details, head to this Jamf site to find beta sign-up details for Blueprints, Self-Service Plus, Jamf Pro Compliance Benchmarks, and AI Assistant. And of course, you can go to account.jamf.com slash try dash Jamf to experience account-driven enrollment with Trusted Access and Network Relay Service. Just be signed in with your Jamf ID and click Generate Credentials. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks to Jamf for an amazing week in Nashville. And as always, if you'd like to know more about what we've covered today or how CompNow and Jamf can benefit your organization, contact your CompNow account manager or email info at compnow.com.au. Cheers. <laughs>